So joining me now from Fort McMurray is my friend Robbie Picard from Oil and Gas Strong. Robbie, let's talk about what's happening in Fort McMurray right now. You have survived the NDP, but just barely. <laughs> the Liberals, but just barely. Fire, but just barely. Um, Cancelled pipelines, but just barely. And now we've got a flood. You, yes. just before this interview, we're recording this Tuesday afternoon, you were up in the air um, in a plane. You rented a plane um, so that you could yeah. assess the damage in Fort McMurray. Tell us what's going on. Well, I was actually ship two days in a row. I went up in a helicopter yesterday and then I went up in uh, uh, a plane today. And it's far worse. Um, it's far worse today than it was yesterday. I mean, I would say I'm not a flood expert. I'm not pretending to be a flood expert, but I'd say at least 50 percent of downtown has now been compromised. And um, a lot of like uh, tons of my friends houses. I mean, they're going to be complete write offs. I've, and it's only going to get worse. It's not going to because it's if you look in the in the video that I took, the ice is just jamming. So when that ice gives way, the water's got to go somewhere. So we'll have to see how that plays out. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but it's it's not looking too good at this moment in time. Now, I heard earlier today that the water is approaching the hospital. Um, what's going on there? Because that hospital wasn't breached by fire, but the water is getting really, really close. So the hospital is slightly higher and they seem to be pretty comfortable, but I don't know. I mean, do they, does anyone really know how this is going to play out? Um, at this moment in time, they're saying that the hospital is fine, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, this has got to be pretty traumatic for Fort McMurray because a lot of these homes that are now potentially going to be underwater, these are, in some cases, reconstructions of homes that were burned. So we're talking to people, we're talking about a community that has lost um, entire neighborhoods twice in, you know, five or 10 years. Particularly in waterways. Um, yeah, I, like waterways, there's a few houses that are a bit higher up that seem okay for now. Drapers, really, they were hit by the fire hard and waterways was hit extremely hard by the fire. Most of those new homes are underwater now. So yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of trauma. And um, it's, yeah, it's, it, this is this is hitting. And, and sometimes I'm a bit emotional, sometimes I feel fine. Like in this moment in time, my, my house is safe. I'm in thick when I'm on high up on a hill. So it's not like the last time where I was directly affected, like when my house burnt down in the fire. But I mean, yeah, you question how much more can one community take? And we have been hit and hit between low oil prices, crazy environmentalists, um, uh, lack of market access, everything else. And then now this at a time when we're dealing with trying to do physical distancing, trying dealing with COVID-19 and trying to adapt to that, maintain your paying your bills and the craziness. I mean, um, yeah, no, it's it's a lot. and. But I don't know, like I, I was a little down and then I'm up there. I, I think if there's one community that can get through this, um, that's the key. But it's also important that at some point we get to a place that, you know, where we can thrive again. And, it, you know, it doesn't seem like we're going to be thriving for a little while. If you'd like to get access to my show, as well as other great TV style shows too, like Ezra's Nightly, Ezra Levant Show, and David Menzies' Friday Night Show, Rebel Roundup, just go to rebelnews.com slash subscribe. That's rebelnews.com slash subscribe.